seen that early on, and you guys missed the first what, four shots, and you know, but still you were getting it done with turnovers and some defense. Uh, we knew defense would last this game, and we knew the offense was going to come. Uh, we tried to get stops and four turnovers, and that's what we did. The team afterwards seemed to be, hey, this is great, but you know, we're a long way from done. That, that kind of a move of the team. Yeah, uh, we still have two games left, um, even though we're away. Big Ten tournament and NCAA tournament. So, um, we still have a long season. And, it seemed like an especially, especially physical game. Did you, did you feel it was it was a Michigan Ohio State thing? Or? Yeah. Uh, well, anytime you have a rivalry game, it's gonna be physical. Uh, we're gonna let things go a little bit more than a regular game, and uh, I mean, we just we just battle the whole 40 minutes. Came out with Are you guys more and more comfortable playing that way? Yeah, uh, I think it's just a personnel thing. Um, yeah, we have a little bit better personnel to play a little more rough for a more physical game. And that's what we did. Was there any emphasis on? Not only senior day, but playing Ohio State, and it's a rivalry game, and it's a team that came back from 20 points on you guys earlier in the year, and just kind of that emphasis and urgency to the game. He has emphasis on a lot of those things. Senior day, like you said, uh, that it's a rivalry game. Uh, I think that was the big, biggest emphasis, and how they beat us the first time. And we didn't want that to happen today, so we knew we had to go out there and play for a full 40, and not just a half. How did the emotions of senior day play into your performance, or did they? Uh, a little bit. You play a little, little bit more passion. You know, 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 Obviously, an important game, especially when it comes to seeding for the tournament. I guess um, knowing that going in, what was kind of the discussion like heading into this? No, uh, we knew we just had to get this one. Uh, we weren't thinking about seeding or anything like that. We were just thinking how they beat us the first time. Uh, we definitely wanted to take a loss today. Mark Jordan said that there was no different feeling with this one going into this one. Do you feel the same way knowing it was senior day? Yeah, I mean, I pretty much forgot about it uh, once the ball tipped and uh, we just started having to get plugged and um, we kind of forget about that and just try to get the W. Do you guys feel like you can win games now with your defense? It isn't just, have you felt that way? At all once yeah. this season? Uh, there's been times this year where we definitely won on the defense end. Uh, offense may not have been clicking, or may not have been hitting shots, things like that. But that all comes with time. Um, I mean, fairly new team, uh, a lot of guys in new positions, like I always say. And uh, it takes time to mesh on the offense end. But if we can play defense and turn it into offense, fast break points, things like that, uh, it definitely helps. Is this the kind of team that can look with confidence towards extending its season? And if so, why? What are the things that would allow you to do that? Uh, the ability to play defense and um, our offense is pretty guard, pretty hard to guard. Uh, when you're going against new opponents, um, Big Ten, they know the ins and out of our offense a little bit. But um, once you get in the postseason play and NCAA tournament, it's fairly new to everybody. Now that it is over, can you reflect a little bit on the storybook, I guess, home season ending here with Ohio State, victory over the rival? Uh, just another chapter in the book, um, the journey. Uh, four years being here, how I got here, and things like that. But um, I get to give you the full story when the season's over. <laughs> how, about, how about jumping into the stands with, with the Maze Rage? I mean, I know that was kind of your you know, ask to do that. Yeah, how much yeah. did that mean to you to do? Uh, it meant a lot because they're there every game, no matter who we're playing. If it's Delaware State or Purdue or anything like that, Maze Rage is always there. And they, they show so much love and support, and we just appreciate them. Do you have a plan what you're going to say to the crowd? You always have a plan until you actually get the mic in your hand and then you see everybody around you. So, uh, I mean, I did have a plan, but I didn't, I didn't go with it. Mohammed, <laughs> did, did the game feel differently at all given the pregame stuff that went on? Or uh, was no, it? I pretty much felt like a normal game. I mean, you know, you have to get down to business once the ball tips off, and that's what we did. For, for a guy who's you know, been around the program for so long, it just seems like you're just so ready for the next thing here still, not looking at a chapter being over. Is that kind of the sense you get with this team as you guys continue to move forward the last couple games here before tournament time? Yeah, uh, I don't think we dwell on the games too much. Uh, we know that Big Ten's one of the toughest league in the country, and uh, they're coming out to get us every night. And we know we have to be prepared, and we can't think about uh, we beat Ohio State, things like that. We still got Penn State coming up on Wednesday, and uh, they just came out and win, too. What do some of those guys mean to you, like Boston and Duncan? Uh, I mean a lot. They've been here since I've stepped on campus. I got here in the summer. They had just here. And I 
got here the first day, and it's just being live. They're like my brothers. Um, I mean, I know I can always call on them and lean on their brand thing, and they do the same with me. Did you kind of see what was going on with Austin today? You kind of feel that a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's I mean, I try not to think about it too much because it's sad. And uh, everything he's been through, and how resilient, how positive he is, is just truly inspiring. I mean, that's all you really ask for. What's the hard time about that dunk in warm ups? What? <laughs> hard time about the dunk in warm ups? <laughs> uh, I've been encouraging him to try to dunk it. Um, I mean, he, when we first got here, he was able to dunk. And uh, I just thought, hey, you might as well go out with a bang and hedge, uh, try to get a dunk. He should have went up with one hand, he went up two. <laughs> it just, Talk about it's a, it happens. Talk about the atmosphere today. Is this one of the better atmospheres you've had since you've been here? Yeah. Um, anytime you play a rivalry game, um, like Michigan State or Ohio State, uh, and they're a top 10 team, you know, there's going to be a lot of energy in the building. And uh, you just got to go out there and play hard. And I know you've been asked this, but you know the emotion of you know playing with our guys, senior day, so on and so forth. I mean, to come out and have a you know big individual game. I mean, how nice is that to do in the final game here at Chrysler? Uh, was, I mean, I always think I could have done better, missed a couple of easy shots, things like that. But uh, I mean, it's it's, good. it's a good feeling um, when you beat your rival and uh, senior day. I mean, you make your family proud. They're up in the stands. The ones they're happy. I'm happy. And I'm just happy to get this W. Muhammad, how was it to obviously have Poole, you know, jump out to what, 12 points in the first half to, you know, kind of get the ball rolling? Uh, it was great to have an um, asset like that on our team, especially when he's coming off the bench and it's like a little microwave. And uh, you put points out there quick, and uh, we're just happy to have him. Mo uh, Wagner at it again with his antics. <laughs> uh, we tried to calm him down a little bit, but I mean, you can't control him too much. But uh, I mean, it worked. Muhammad, um, Duncan's defense, can you tell me how you've seen it evolve over the course of the season? Uh, we just give him confidence. Um, we know he can guard certain players, and I mean, there's I mean a lot of not there's a lot of players that everybody can't guard. Sure. And we just know that we just keep instilling confidence in him that he can guard certain players, and and that he is a capable defender. And uh, we know he has areas where he has to grow. We all do, but um, we just have that confidence in him. Have you what seen technique-wise even make some adjustments? I mean, or do you think it's just telling him he can? Do uh, I think he's just believing in himself more. Um, get down on him a little. A little bit, you know, you hear stuff in the media and from everywhere. And uh, but as long as you got your brother's back and you still that confidence, you'll be fine. What does a win like this do 